session of product design and value engineering. In today's session, we will discuss about product development process. But before that, I want to discuss what is product design and what is product development. Is product design and product development both are same or not? Is there is any difference between product development and product design? Mostly people use these both terms interchangeably that is product design and product development are used interchangeably but there is there is similarity are both these terms are same no there is a fundamental difference the product design is the product design is the process of incorporating customer needs in a marketable way that is when we talk about product design we only talk about a process which takes customer needs and which develops the products that can be sold but when we talk about product development that is a broader idea the product development starts with the idea generation and completes with the commercialization of product that means that when we talk about product development we talk about what customer needs the surveys for uh, customer need identification and the process completes with commercialization of product that includes how the product will be sold how it will be packaged what will be the marketing strategies etc so product development is a broader concept than product design and product design is a part of product development process be very careful about this because we will discuss product design and product development both separately first of all let us briefly see what is product development so product development is the process where we start with opportunity identification first of all we talk about identifying the opportunity then this opportunity that we have identified will be converted in some concepts and these concepts there will be some ideas to uh, convert this opportunity or customer needs to a product so if there is a customer need suppose there is a customer need that customer wants something it can be anything there can be a number of needs but the concept is a fundamental way in which the product itself will deliver what customer needs and for a single need there can be x number of concepts there can be many number of concepts so concepts will be very much high and what the first step will be in product development process to generate these concepts to find out ways of how to satisfy the customer needs for example if a customer wants to travel from position x to position y a customer will uh, customer needs is to travel from uh, suppose ahmedabad to delhi then what will be the concept for that the co one concept will be a cab service we can use cab the other concept is aeroplane another concept can be to use helicopter another concept can be to use railroad another concept can be to use a jet pack a very advanced jet pack that can travel uh, that can travel from ahmedabad to delhi so there will be many number of concept and there can be many more concepts uh, as well but all these concepts will not be feasible or some of them will be very hard to build on or they will be very costly so what design engineer will do is that they will prepare a design and in this phase of design and engineering what we will do is we will take those concepts and we will select few of them which are viable so we will short or screen these concepts and we will take few concept further and we will design on this concept we will develop on those ideas concepts are mere ideas in design and engineering stage we will develop on this concept and we will think about okay how this concept can actually work so after the design and engineering will be done we will have some number of concepts which have we have which for which we have designed some uh, prototypes and in testing phase we will see that during design phase we have uh, rejected some of our concepts and we will identify better of these designs so 
if we have five designs that we have finalized we will take a uh, best two designs for testing we will further test those designs and check that okay if uh, if this is so we will take two two of two or one of these uh, designs and we will build a prototype and we will test it if it is feasible or not if it is feasible and we are satisfied with it we will take the one that performs better and then we will launch that product so this is the complete flow of generalized product development process similarly when we talk about product development process the normal steps which are to be followed are as we have talked the first step is idea generation then we will talk about idea screening and then we will develop a concept and then we will make marketing strategy after we have decided our marketing strategy of how to uh, sell this product or uh, will we sell this product or will we only provide on service then we will build a business strategy or we will do business analysis uh, to see that if our idea is actually profitable or not if the idea is profitable then only we will go into product development process and after the product development process has finished we will have a product or prototype which will be tested for marketing so we will do a test marketing in which we will give the product to customers which will actually give us reviews about how our product is and are they liking our products or are they interested in our products or not and if the customers are interested in the products then we will do commercialization of products so this is the whole process of a product development process and in which the design phase is somewhere between here only so design product design is a small part of product development process what is project design process so we can uh, summarize product design process in this cycle actually design process is a cycle because the design process keeps on evolving and it will keep try to keep on changing our product for better design the normally the product design process will start with identifying the problem so there will be a problem which we need to address and we will start with that then we will brainstorm and generate some idea then we will develop a solution then we will build a prototype and test it and after that we will share our insights what we have achieved and then we will repeat the same process this is what a fundamental product development process will look like and if you want to look at a generalized the characteristics of successful product development how we can say that our product development is successful so basically there are some criteria which uh, decides that your product development is successful or not if we have gone through a product development process and we have to come up with a product how can we say that uh, the process that we have gone through to develop this product was worth it so there are mainly five criteria which we will see one by one the first criteria is product quality if you are developing a product and your product quality is not good then definitely your product development process was not a successful one because ultimately the customer will buy the products which will have high quality the second criteria will be of product cost also if you have developed a very high quality product but your cost is very high as well then it is likely that customer will not uh, prefer your products and if customer does not prefer your products then the uh, process of product development is in vain because why we are developing the product to sell in the market to sell to the customer and if customer is not willing to buy our product at the price that we are offering then our process of product development is in vain that that means that we have not been successful in developing the product or we have not been successful in developing a good product uh, the third criteria is development time why this criteria is important suppose that you are developing a smartphone you want to develop a smartphone 
you start today in 2020 and you have come up with a very high quality product and with very reasonable price. Suppose you develop a product which is uh, which cost only about 3000 rupees and it is a high quality 4G phone which, which is today's market standard and you introduce this product. But during the development you have uh, invested about 10 years. So you have taken 10 years time to develop a uh, reasonable cost, very low cost product which is very, uh, which is of very high quality. But after 10 years, if you introduce this product which is a 4G mobile phone in the market, what will happen? Most of the customers will have shifted to 5G, 6G or 7G mobile phones because the technology today is changing very rapidly. And if you have not been able to develop your product quickly, then also your product development process was not successful because the time is very important aspect while we discuss about product development. If your development time is very high, then the market will move very quickly, there will be technological changes and the product that you have de developed will be no longer useful for customers. Another thing to be considered is development cost. If you develop a product which can be produced at a very low cost but during the development you have invested tens of crores of rupees then the product development process will be a failure because if even uh, if you invest uh, about 100 crores in a de in developing a pen which can be produced at uh, let's say 10 paisa only so your product quality might be high your product cost might be low but the development cost is such a such high that the customers uh, that you want to sell will not be willing to buy because you will uh, ultimately incorporate this cost into your product itself also the organization that you are working for or the organization that is developing the product will not approve of such high development cost so development cost is also an important characteristics of successful product development. And the last is development capability. What do you mean by development capability? Development capability is basically what you learn during the product development process. So today if you develop a smartphone uh, that is one product and after six months if you want to develop another product uh, say another smartphone then this uh, experience of developing smartphone today should be able to help you develop the upcoming products in the future. That is what we mean by developing capability. So during each product development cycle, your developing capability should increase. You should be uh, more confident or you should uh, be more uh, reliable with your product development team or with your product development capacities. So this is also characteristics of successful product development and lastly we want to discuss what is the key to successful product development. How can we ensure that our product that we have developed is uh, successful. So the first one is uniqueness and it is very obvious if you introduce a product in the market which is unique, which market has never seen and which addresses a unique uh, problem that customer faces in the market, then it is uh, given that you will have a, a good market share uh, in a completely new market. The another key is to customer focus and market on orientation. So ultimately you are developing your product for customers only. So if your uh, product is not customer centric or not customer focused then it is likely that you will fail. So always keep in mind that your product should be customer focused. The another thing is doing your homework. What do we mean by doing the homework? If we have a good idea that uh, uh, okay we see that many people are struggling with uh, stairs so we should develop lift. That is a good idea but we have to first check the market. Are there any uh, other products that uh, uh, identifies or that addresses the same needs? So are there any products which uh, already 
address is this need or not because we know that there is already solutions in the market for the same which are lifts and escalators so if we do not do our homework and we do not think about the current market situation or we do not do customer service of what they actually want then it is likely that we will go in the process of reinventing the wheel and we don't want that so doing the homework is a very important during the product development process what else so this is very important and many people do not uh, consider this or many people fail to consider this or address this very accurately whenever you are developing product you should have a sharp and early product def definition that means that when you are you have start your product development process and we are when you are addressing a issue that customer faces then first you need to decide your scope if you want to address the issue of uh, better connectivity with people then you should uh, address your uh, product uh, definition early that either you want to develop a mobile phone which can help in better connectivity or do you want to develop an email service or a main service that can be uh, that can also give the connectivity or you want to develop an uh, application that gives you voice calls only or you want an application that gives you video call so this is what we mean by product definition that we should fix our criteria of that okay this is the issues that i will address and this is how i will develop my product this is what my product will look like and then only focus on building on that because otherwise what will happen is that you will go in a very broad field and uh, in this uh, very broad uh, area there will be no uh, no closing or converging towards a single product and you will just move uh, from one idea to another and that will be resulting in more development time and always less development less product development time is a good idea so this is very important the next is project selection decision because what will happen is that uh, sometime uh, you have many ideas at a single time so what you want to do is to prioritize your projects if you have five different projects at on your hand and uh, you want to decide that okay i want to develop all these five simultaneously then this will required very much resources so better idea is to uh, select only two ideas and build on them first after they are marketable then you uh, think about the remaining three ideas so product se project selection decision is very important and this is where most people fails telling the one telling the word that you have a good product what do you mean by that this is basically the marketing after you have developed a product or after your design is ready product design is ready and you have developed a prototype you should Uh, do proper marketing of it so that people knows that okay up until now there was no such product which addressed addressed my these issues which uh, would help me to uh, uh, perform some task easier but now there is one product and you uh, who will tell that there is one product because you have developed this product you have to tell the people that okay i have developed this product and this is a good product please use it so marketing is very important aspect and is a key to successful product development and the last one that is speed without compromising quality this also focuses on development time without compromising quality you should develop your product very quickly and organizational structure and climate this is the external factors of successful product development and uh, at this moment we don't want to go in details of this but we'll talk about it in due time so this will be all for today's session thank you